Ooh, we made it back from the bins and I got some really, really fun vintage treasures. So stay tuned to see everything that I got. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is a haul from yesterday's picking video you seen when I went to the Goodwill bins and I only ended up spending $27. So not too bad because I got a lot of fun things. I'm super excited. My bins are back, which is awesome. They put all the hard goods back. They brought out glass bins when I was there and that's what I did the best on. So I am super excited to get into this haul. So let's get into it right now. So like I said, only spent $27. So this was one of the things that I got out of the glass bins. I absolutely love her. She is a pin cushion. See, she's got some pins in her. She is fabulous. No chips or cracks on her. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So yes, I was super excited to pick her up out of the glass bins. And then I did find some little penny dolls. I found this little girl. So stinking cute. Her, she's got little, little articulating arms. And I don't know if there's any markings on her. I think these are usually like made in Japan or something. I don't know. But her, and then I picked up this little gal. She's got her little arms as well. And her little dress. She's so cute. Little circus says 102. I don't know what that means, but. And she's even got a little slip on under there. Adorable. I love these cute little dolls. So I picked those two up. Then I got this little squirrel. It does have one little chippy out of its ear, but that's okay. He's still cute. He looks so adorable sitting on a shelf. He's a little miniature made in Japan. I love him. He's so cute. And then this horse. Love it. Just a little miniature. No chips or cracks on him. He has one tiny, tiny little flea bite on the tip of his ear, but other than that, he's in good shape. And then I did find a snow baby. I did find just one, just one snow baby with a little birthstone on it. Um, it is department 56, as you can see. So good condition, no chips or cracks on that one. And then this is from 1898. So this piece is over a hundred years old. Um, it's from the Omaha, Omaha, whatever. I don't know what that is. And then it says Maria on one side. But I would just display it like this. It's so pretty. I wasn't gonna leave this into the bins to get broken when it's over a hundred years old. It's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So that piece. And then Alex gave me a family of skunks. So thank you, Alex. So there's the mama and then a little a smaller one and then a tiny little one. They're so cute. Little family of skunkies. I love them so much. So yes. Those went in my cart. And then I did pick up a Rolling Stones bag. It's just a nice, nice little tote bag. And it's Rolling Stones. Really good condition. No rips, tears, stains, or holes. And then I found this is so adorable. Is 
think they might be doing that. See, it's got, it's, it's got the key. It's a little plastic. This one's beak is a little wonky, but I think it's so cute. So adorable. I did not want to leave that behind. Absolutely not. Yeah, this side's just a little bit wonky, but it's still cute. Isn't that adorable? I love it so much. I've never seen this piece. So, yeah, sometimes he just needs a little help. Yeah, for display. Isn't this so cute? I love it. It's a plastic basket with, a, like, you know, plushy. They're like the hard plushy mechanical toys. The ducks. So, I love that piece. And it's, on the bottom it says Made in Japan. Made in Japan. So absolutely love it. This would be so cute to sit in anybody's springtime display. And it's a really fun piece. And then I did pick up this. And now I do know that it works because somebody had turned it. And I was like, oh, that's adorable. I had just assumed that it worked. I would try it, was going to try it before I, well, when I was cleaning up my cart. But it started dinging in my cart. So I'm like, oh, I don't even need to try it. It works. Love it. It is a strawberry timer. And then I did pick up another, oh, tell me that just didn't fall out. One dead. I don't know how it got out of there. I did pick up another bag of beads. These are so much fun. There's like vintage ones in there mixed with new ones, like just all kinds of fun beads and buttons. There's buttons in there too. So it's beads and buttons mixed, a whole bag. And some of them are just like really fun beads. So a whole entire bag, I picked those up. And then I picked up this, now I'm gonna have to, is, I don't know if this is Black Beauty or who this is, but this is a briar. It is a briar, it is stamped on the inside leg right there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but it is right there. It does have its briar stamp. But on the other side, right there, it is marked 1984. Oh, I can't read what that says, but then it says um, 20th Century Fox. 1984 20th Century Fox. So I don't know if this is Black Beauty, but it is a briar and it is 20th Century Fox, so from 1984. So this is probably a pretty good piece. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research, but yeah, that was a good find in the bins. And then I was able to find two Furbies. Now these don't have batteries in them. I, I can feel that they don't have any batteries in them. Um, this one still has its tag, which is awesome. Um, it's original one from 1998. It's from 1998. So I'm going to have to put batteries in these and test them to see if they work. He no longer has his tag. Well, he still has this, that tag right there, the plastic one, but the, not the paper one. And he is also from 1998 as well. So yeah, finding two Furbies in the bins, one with his tag, that was a really good find as well. So I was super excited to find those. I did pick up little Tom and Jerry napkins. Um, these are MCMLXXXII. 
So I would assume probably the late eighties, early nineties, somewhere around there, maybe. I don't know. I'm I don't know my Roman numerals offhand, but they are so cute. It is Tom and Jerry napkin still in the plastic. So if you're gonna have like a eighties or nineties birthday party, those are perfect. And then I found this. Now, this is super, super cool. Oh, there is a couple beads in there that fell out of the bag. So I found this. Now it says patent February 16th, 86. So I was like, it's probably, you know, from 1986, just made to look old. Um, so, oh, don't fall out of there, number. So, thank goodness when I was at the bins and I was like, well, before I put it back, I am going to do a Google image search. Oh, man, one of the things fell off. I'm going to have to grab it. See, it says patent February 1686. Well, two of them fell off now. Anyway. So I looked it up. I don't know where the other one went. Anyway, so I looked this up. I did a Google image search and it came up right away. And yes, this is a this is a good find. Um, this is like a spelling game from the 1800s, and it is 1886. Very surprising, really good condition, you know, a little bit of wear, but I mean, man, it is over a hundred years old, well over a hundred years old, and really fun spelling game. I don't, don't ask me how it works, but it's marked down there and it's marked up there at the top. So I will put some comps. I don't know if I'll find soul comps or just listed comps, but whatever I find, I'll put up there so you guys can see, but yeah, I mean... This is a really, really cool piece in the letters. You can move and spell out different things. So, I thought that was fun. I'm super glad that I looked it up. And I'm going to have to find that other one that fell out. And then, this was the very first thing that I stuck in my cart that I found. It is a really, really cute wallet. Now, I really love all the different images and graphics and stuff on there. I just think it is super cute. It is a relic. It has a little pouch for you to hold like your cell phone or whatnot, whatever you want to put in there. And then inside it has a button and you hold your cards and your money. I mean, it's in perfect condition. Very, very, very little wear. I don't know if it was ever even used, but like I said, I really love the graphics on there. So I picked that up. I was able to find some goosebumps. I was able to find them, which is exciting. And these are all in really, really good condition. Monster Blood, what is that, four? Is that Roman numeral four or six? I don't know. One of them, but it's Monster Blood. The Haunted Mask. This is one of my favorite, favorite Goosebump episodes. I used to watch them all the time on TV when I was a little. Same as this one, Night of the Living Dummy. These are like brand new. These two books are like brand new. They don't have any wear whatsoever. Like none. Which is awesome, awesome. I wish I would have been able to find more of them that were like brand new. And then I picked up this one. So those four goosebumps. And then Alex gave me this. I love the butterfly on there. So cute. Just a little coin purse. Actually, no. Is that it's a little ring purse? It could hold your rings. And it's a mirror. That's cute. That is adorable. I love that piece. So thank you, Alex. And I was able to find a whole bunch 
of stuff that I stuck in a baggie for treasure bags. So this will probably get put back for a Christmas treasure bag. He's just an elf on the shelf. Um, I don't know the actual date on him. I don't know if it says a date. You know, he's not the vintage knee hugger elf. He's just an elf on a shelf, but he's still thinking cute and adorable with his felt body and his face is fun. So yes, that'll go in a Christmas grab bag. Um, a brand new thing of country music playing cards. They've never been opened. They're still sealed in their package. And some of them on here are really, really cute. They're like, there's June Carter, Johnny Cash, Roy Clark, Patsy Cline. Um, I mean, all together, there's 54 different ones. Uh, nitty gritty. There's so many, but yeah, like I said, there's 54 different country music stars in the playing cards. So I thought that was really cool. This cute little trinket box. Now the music box, I don't know if it works. I don't think it works any longer. Um, I don't even see where you would turn it on. I don't know, but it's really cute. I just thought it was adorable. I did find Bakelite. I did find a Bakelite piece. It is a can opener. And then these package of little order forks. And they are, I believe, stamped Japan. I think that's why I got them. A little star sequin in its package. A little Ronald McDonald plushie. So cute. A wooden cute yo-yo. A really cool um, cross with Jesus in it. It's like a carved resin piece and it can hang on your wall and then it is holy name cathedral chicago illinois so i thought that was kind of creepy and cool a vintage red white and blue belt that's a lot of fun very 80s very, very 80s. It reminds me of these are the days of our lives. <laughs> um, little bones and a tiny little jar, like skeleton pieces in a little container. This cute little guy, he'll get put back for Halloween, a Halloween grab bag. He's absolutely adorable with his little jack lantern pumpkin, little rubber figurine. This little bendable dude. This wallet, it is all leather and a tooled wallet. I like it because it has the horse on there. A spoon, a decorative spoon. I have no idea where that's from. Oh, Korea? It's from Korea. That's cool. Usually they're states. That one's not. A screwdriver for myself. I'm going to put that in my purse. I have a Phillips. I didn't have a flat for some reason. So that's going to go in my purse. This cute little um movable bunny it is also department 56 it's stamped on the bottom department 56 he's so cute 
This vintage necklace, Halloween necklace, again, it will get put back for um, a Halloween grab bag. I think it's the 80s or the 90s. I can't read it. It's cute. A wooden handled beater that works great still. Another bendable character dude. These look like they came from cereal um, boxes when I was a kid. <laughs> That's what they remind me of. A really, really, really pretty fan. Oh, I'm showing you the wrong side. <laughs> it's got like mountains and stuff on it. It's in good condition. And I like the way it, when you fold it up, I like the way it is um, shaped. Just like that. It's got a little bead on there. This little dude from the Muppets. He's cute. Oh, Pokey from Gumby. I found Gumby the other day, and I think, I don't know if Gumby's still, if I still have Gumby, I'm going to have to look, or if I sold that grab bag. If I didn't sell that grab bag, I'm going to have to put these two together and sell them together, because you don't very often find Pokey, Gumby's horse. And then these are really, really neat. Now, I found these in the glass bins before they took, and I found them in the old glass bins before they took them away. If you can see, they are tiny little pieces of glass. Now read what it says. Millie Fiori. They're Millie Fiori pieces if you make glass. Like, let me just take a couple out for you so I can show you. They're tiny little pieces of glass. They've got the little, the millifiori in them. It's just all tiny little pieces. So yeah, that that's neat. I guess that's for glass makers, I would assume. I don't really know. What else would you use those little pieces for? I thought that was cool. I wish there would have been more, but there wasn't. That was the only one in there. And then I did find two really, really neat bracelets at the bottom of the bins. These are super neat. I love the beads on them. They feel like really, really nice, high quality. And they're all like hand painted. So there's that one and then there's this one. And they're really, really, really pretty. They're like the elastic. So yeah, those, I picked those two up for sure. I did get some belt buckles. This one's kind of neat. It's got like the different jewels in there with the cross. I thought that was a neat one. This one is a horseshoe. I did pick up a dream catcher, a little dream catcher with feathers. I thought that was a really neat, tiny little piece because it's so small. This was neat. This is a Smurfette in her little uh, beetle car and it's metal and it's from 1982. It's marked on the bottom 1982. So she's older than I am. I love it. <laughs> I love finding fun treasures in the bins. And then I found this really pretty Coisonne egg. It's a tiny little Coisonne egg. I did find some glasses. I checked. These were not big enough to be Mrs. Beasley's unfortunately 
So these were not, I left Mrs. Beasley behind because she was in really, really rough shape. I probably should have got her. Yes, I know. Somebody probably could have done something with her. But if she's still there when I go tomorrow, then I will check. But I'll grab her. She happens to still be there. But that's another belt buckle that I got. I thought this was just a really neat piece to stick in a treasure bag. It's just a jewel of some, of some sort, like a charm. I did pick up some different colored dice. Oh, green, red, and blue. This little piece. It's neat. It's got like a cat. It looks like like an Egyptian cat on there or something. I don't know. And that belt buckle. I thought that was really cool. And then the last thing in the treasure bag is this little tiny coin. And it says, believe with faith all things are possible. So I really love that saying, so I picked that up. So that was all that was in that treasure bag. And all in the first sack. Now moving on to the second sack, which will hopefully go through it a little bit quicker. <laughs> okay, so I did find some Halloween things in the new bins. Um, in the glass ones, I found this little, he's a little shelf sitter. So cute and adorable. Oh, that was in the treasure bag as well. This little Halloween guy still has his tags. So cute. I love these little resin figures. He's absolutely adorable. So kitschy and fun. This is probably my favorite one that I got out of the glass bins. I don't know what that white stuff is all over him. Oh, it's just scraping off. So I think it was like wax. I don't know, but he is so cute. Isn't he adorable? And his little hat, pointy hat. He's again, just a little resin figure. That all will clean up. Like I said, it's just scratching off. So. I took him and then the last Halloween thing I think I got out of the new bins was this guy. He's so cute. I don't know if his nose is, was, is broke or if that's how it's supposed to be. I don't really care. He has a face and either way, he's still so stinking cute and adorable. Again, just like a plastic. He's a different material though than this one. This one's more solid than this one. This one feels hollow on the inside. But their faces, they're so cute. I love them so much. They make me happy. And then I was able to find Luca brand new hose still in its package um, with the paper and everything and we Luke was actually just talking about needing a hose the other day and this one is perfect and when I showed it to him he was super excited about it so yeah that was a really good find um this is one of those hoses that like crinkles back up so it doesn't take much room in your yard and that's exciting because hoses aren't cheap then I was able to find a stack of four little juice glasses. I love them. They are all different colors. So pretty, perfect for springtime. And I love the polka dots. Those are awesome. Mr. Grinch, he will be going on my Christmas tree next year. So he's going to stay with me. Little Mr. Grinch ornament. One of my favorite Christmas movies. I 
I found this, I what I believe is Italian pottery, but I could be completely wrong. It is marked on the bottom. I just can't read what it says because it's in a different language, I think. I don't know if it's going to come in for you guys or not. I don't know, but it's so pretty. There's no chips or cracks. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, really pretty to sit out for springtime. And so if you know the maker of this, let me know in the comments below. And then I was able to find a West Germany egg. So, 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 so cute. I love these cardboard eggs. Absolutely adorable. It is marked on the inside, made in Germany. And they just are cardboard eggs and perfect to sit out for your spring and summer display because look, it's got butterflies, little cute little chickies. Just a lot of fun. The flowers, super cute. And this is a big one. He's big. He's a big guy. That's cool. And then I found this, which is totally awesome and groovy. It is a macrame owl towel holder, a double one. So you can hold like a wash rag and a hand towel in your bathroom or your guest bathroom or wherever you'd like in your kitchen. You can hang your kitchen towels, but it's an owl and it's macrame. So yes, that was absolutely a no brainer. And then I did go through those cartons of eggs and I put them all in, all the good ones anyway, in a baggie. Now there's Smurfs, there's Mickey Mouse, and there's just fun Easter springtime ones. These remind me of my childhood. Um, really fun, really groovy, and yeah, good condition. So I stuck those in a baggie. And brought them home. And then I couldn't believe he wasn't broken or chipped or nothing. He was just laying in the hard good bins. Just waiting for someone to rescue him. And that person was me. I rescued him. He's a good luck trunk up elephant. He is home co. So cute and adorable. And like I said, no chips or cracks. I love his eyelashes. And he is a really fun piece. Then I found two, not one, but two elves. These are fun little plushies. They both are hand puppets. See, you can stick there, but they're hand puppets and they're absolutely adorable. These are probably from the 80s, I would assume. I don't know if they have tags still. The, the shirts are sewn on them. I don't know. I would assume they're from the 80s. Oh, here, this one still has its tag. 1988. 1988 Alien Productions. Cute little elf puppets. Stinking adorable. I love them so. And then out of the new glass bins, I found this stinking cute kitschy adorable um spoon rest but let's see i'm gonna turn these nope that wouldn't be right why is the saying on the back that doesn't make any sense so okay so they're a little spoon they're a little spoon ceramic you know, measuring spoons, flowers, but I don't understand why the cute little saying is on the back side. I was going to switch the, the spoons around, but they're all, the slots are designed to fit each spoon. Each spoon is a different, see this one is larger than this one, the stem part. I don't know why that is, but anyway. So cute and adorable. No chips or cracks. And it is Paula Dean. It is Paula Dean. So perfect for springtime to sit on your counter and use your little measuring spoon set. Loving it. 
And I did find another piece of Bakelite. So I was able to find two pieces of Bakelite in the bins, which is fun. So much fun. I found this cute little kitschy Humpty Dumpty uh, baby toy rattler. And it is made in Hong Kong, it says. He works great. He's so kitschy and cute and adorable. I love vintage. And then I found a heart nesting box set. It is a set of three of them in there. There's three different little boxes. And they're nesting and they're plastic and it's stamped made in Hong Kong. Super cute and adorable. Love the little kitschy flower designs on there. And I found three little shelf sitter froggies. They are so cute and adorable and they little got little dangly legs. And they'll just sit on your shelf and hang out and say hello. <laughs> They're frogs with little hats on. I found one little rubber squeaky. He's tiny. He's just a tiny little guy. It looks like a little lamb. Again, perfect to sit in your springtime display or summer. So cute and I love the color. He's not marked anything. I couldn't find any markings on him. I did get a whole bag of the charms. Whole entire bag. This is full. I mean, there is so many fun little, little charmies in there. A little cute little poodle. There's letters. There's dice. There are cubes, um, there was lips, there's like strawberries. This, I mean, look, you can just see how many is in there. There's so, so, so many different charms. You can make your own charm bracelet. Then I found this beautiful, beautiful beaded clutch little baggy purse, hand, whatever you want to call it, handbag. It does have its original vintage label on the inside as well. And I don't know where it was made. Ladies handbag code authority. But I can tell by the snap, the closure part, that it's an older it's an older piece. I like it. Very pretty. And then Alex's mom found me a bunch of dolls, you guys. A bunch of dolls. So this one she handed me and I put it back in the bins because I just didn't think it was that old. And it really is. It's from the 70s. It's called a Flatsy. Oops. It's called a Flatsy doll. See, she, you can see she's flat. And she is stamped on the back, made in Hong Kong. So she is an older Flatsy doll. So, yeah, I went but after she told me. Um, Alex's mom said, what? You put her back? She's from the 70s. So I went and found her and looked her up. And sure enough, she is. And then she gave me these two, which, oh my goodness, aren't these so adorable? They have a little bit of wear, like this one has a little bit of chew marks on her toe toes right there on her shoe, but I don't really care. I was not going to leave these behind. They've got plastic bodies and rubber arms and rubber faces. So cute. And then her little bit of wear is on her hand right there on her little fingers. But again... I don't care. I love them. They're so cute and adorable, aren't they? Probably from the 70s, I would assume. Um, made in Japan. They're stamped on the bottom of their shoes. Made in Japan. I love them. 
this cute little doll she gave me. It's needs some help. <laughs> it's old. It's like one of those comp composite dolls. Here's her little arms. She's so cute. So yeah, I picked her up. This one she gave me. Again, I would say probably from the 70s. Um, I didn't look to see what this one was marked. I would assume made in Japan or Hong Kong, one of the two. It stamped something, but I can't read it because I got my contacts in, but you could just tell by her face. And her outfit, of course. Hello. <laughs> it's so groovy. And then this one. So cute. I don't know what her, she is stamped. I could tell by her clothes, though. She kind of is like the, a Barbie style, but she's obviously not a Barbie. You can tell by her face, so. She's probably from Japan or Hong Kong, one of the two. And then I found this little gal. I like her. She's kind of creepy looking, her hands. But she's different. I think that was all the dolls. Oh, I did find a Halloween troll. So this one will be put back for... Put your little mask on, dude. This one will be put back for Halloween. There we go. And a Halloween um, grab bag with the other two things that I got out of the bins that were Halloween in this time. And then I found this, which I absolutely love this. I've always wanted one of these to try out on my birthday cake, but I never get birthday cakes. Um... But I've always just wanted one, and I think it's, if you, when you light these candles, it spins, maybe? I don't know. It looks like it's never been used. It's all still, you know, folded up, and not, none of the candles have been burnt. So I think that's what it is when you light the candles and it spins. Is that right? Or was there a wick? Is there some sort of wick that you're, other wick that you're supposed to light? I don't know. I'm going to have to Google it. But it barely weighed anything, so it went in my car. This new, never opened, really kitschy um, duck embroidery. You know, the stitchery kits. I like those. This vintage washboard. It says pale on one side. Or it's got a star on the other. You could easily just unscrew these and take it out and switch it around if you just want the star showing on one side. But I just thought that was cute. It's an old decorative washboard. And then I was able to make another linen bag. So fun. So I will show you really quickly what's in here. This is a tablecloth. It's got that on the corner of it what's it say pots and pans so. um a bunch of these a whole stack of these they're dog they're different dog a whole bunch of them there's a whole stack like i said so i just thought they were really cute and adorable This 3D rose. This is adorable. None of these have been washed, so some of them do have some stainings and stuff on them, so you'd have to wash them. You know, I rescued them out of the bins, but this is like a, a hanky, and it's got an owl on it. I love the red colors. Another hanky. Again, love the colors. More hankies. That one's embroidered. Uh, 
more hankies, a whole stack. There's a whole bunch. A whole stack of hankies. All these are hankies. Every single one of them. So there's a bunch of really, really fun ones in there. So I wasn't going to leave them behind. So that is my haul, you guys. Like I said, I only ended up spending $27 on all that stuff. So I think I did quite well. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. I know it's kind of a long haul video. And thank you for staying tuned to the end. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. Um, and every once in a while, I will list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Those links are also in the description below as well too. But most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales. I host my live sales right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So you're going to want to make sure you hit that bell button and go subscribe right now. Um, that way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. And sometimes I will just feel like having a pop-up live sale throughout the week. And if you hit that bell button and subscribe, that way you will be notified when I post a new video or when I go live for a live sale. So I hope you guys enjoyed the haul video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.